turbulent descent. Third up on the outside as they have a quarter mile to come. Gap of two back to Coax Liberty. Aid between horses next to last. Tele Kelly trails off the far turn. Turbulent descent moves out in the center of the track. Coming after Grand Lion as Honey Child between those two. Tele Kelly grandstand side, then aid in between horses. Here's Turbulent Descent at the eighth pole to take the lead. Final furlong of the Beaumont. Turbulent Descent opening up now by four lengths back to Honey Child Grand Lioness. And it's all Turbulent Descent. Another graded stakes win for Turbulent Descent and David Flores. It was a long way back to the rest as Honey Child got second close for third. Official winner of Keeneland's featured eighth race, 26th running of the grade two Beaumont Stakes, number six, Turbulent Descent, owned by Blinkers On Racing of Scott Sherwood, owned also by William Strauss, Robert Butler, and others, trained by Mike Pipey, and David Flores, the jockey. Turbulent Descent, three-year-old filly from the first crop by Congrats, bred in Florida by Ocala Stud. Time for the beard course distance of about seven furlongs, one minute, 26 seconds. Presenting the trophy for the Beaumont Stakes, Windstream CEO Jeff Gardner, presenting sponsor of Military Day, and Major General Edward Tanini, Adjutant General of the Kentucky National Guard. They are joined by Lieutenant Colonel Darrell Green and Command Sergeant Major Shane Chapman, both with the 194th Armored Brigade. Turbulent Descent wins the Beaumont and does it in impressive fashion. Trained by Mike Pipey, ridden by David Flores. We'll talk to David first and uh, just tell us a little about the trip. Uh, first of all, I want to thank the owners and, and Mike uh, to give me an opportunity to ride this kind of horse. Um, she's awesome. I mean, she's a classic girl. I just relax in the post parade and just make sure I was ready, tied on like Chris said, just hang on. And um, I just put her in a spot where I was very confident and uh, just make sure that the uh, I had the clear spot in the top of the stretch, like I might say, like I say you know, try to win without uh, whip, whip, but uh, I had to hit her a couple of times because she was, she got tense to lag in a little bit, but uh, then when she accelerated, it was pretty much over. It was uh, kind of fun. fun There's a little, little, uh, a couple of uh, scary moments when she started to lug in, but as soon as you got her straightened out, it was all over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just hit her a couple of times to keep, keep her mind focused on, on the race, and uh, she likes seeing a little bit, but as soon as she was in the fence, she was comfortable, so... She got a little jump right there by the first wire, but then I got her control. Congratulations, David. Mike, great job with this filly. Now five out of six. Uh, she's just done everything you've asked her. You say she's going to be better around one turn. She was better around one turn today. <laughs> not a question, not a question. And uh, I'll be talking with Scott Sherwood after the race, and I'm sure that we'll go on with our plan of going to the Acorn uh, and off to the test at Saratoga. We're going to try to win the Eclipse with her this year. She... You don't have to go a mile and eight to get the Eclipse. She's an awful good filly, and she's going to put up a resume this year that I think will be worthy of that kind of an award. And has she she's been improving with every race? Without question. I mean, just look at her record. It speaks for itself. At six races, it's it's practically invincible, you know. So she's, she's an awful good horse, and the game needs good horses like her to get people to come out and see races, and we're happy to have her, and I'm appreciative of the owners and everybody that's given me the opportunity. Well, we're happy you came to Keeneland. Mike Pipey, Turbulent Descent. The impressive winner in the Beaumont.